Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. A minute ago, I uploaded a video, a new video on YouTube, and that was about Mark Brzezinski, the US ambassador to Poland, marching in a Warsaw gay pride parade. And uh, while I was at it in this uh, video, which is right here, um, goes by this, US ambassador sends message to Poland by marching in Warsaw Pride Parade. Watch Douglas Murray's take. I encourage you to watch this guy, Douglas Murray, fantastic guy. So during this uh, video that I made, I just uploaded, I, uh, I mentioned how um, Mika Brzezinski, who's the sister of the um, US ambassador Mark Brzezinski to Poland, I uh, showed you a little bit of how that family got involved in uh, military, um, uh, military. Uh, the family is involved in uh, providing, uh, how should I put it, uh, creating opinion, forming opinion. And Mika Brzezinski, if you're familiar with her, she is with Joe Scarborough, Two Weasels. At MSNBC, they have Morning Joe show, which is a garbage show. That's my assessment. And I will show you here how Glenn Greenwald is gonna take Mika Brzezinski in the Morning Joe show to task. He's gonna take her. Why? Because she's trying to attack him and attack Joe, uh, Joe, no Scarborough, uh, <laughs> Edward Snowden, who was the whistleblower that Glenn Greenwald broke the story about. Uh, you know, all those documents with the uh, NSA uh, mass surveillance and so on. So uh, Mika will cover for the US government and tries to weasel things out. But Glenn Greenwald, courageous, smart guy, is going to grab her by the passe and he's going to say, wait a second, you're a weasel. Right now we're just using White House's talking points. And the, the talking points were Mr. Obama's, President Obama's talking points. So let me show you this video. As I said, it's from Morning Joe. It's a long time ago. It's from 2013. I watched it a long time ago. And I, when I want to put myself in a good mood, I watch it. I'm going to start with the beginning. It's about 17 minutes, but I will not play 17 minutes. So take it easy. You can watch it if you want. But I will give you the beginning about 30 seconds. So you hear Mika introducing the situation as she would like to introduce it uh, slanted. And then I would go to the minute 8.20, about 8.20. And then at 8.20, Mika will defend the government, trying to say, well, we have to put all of this in the context, you know, because uh, Snowden is a bad dude. And she's trying to use the talking points. And then Glenn Greenwald will say, okay, let me put it in, uh, in the context for you, Mika. And then he's mm -mm 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 -mm, grabs her mm -mm 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 -mm, and so on. Ready? Teddy. Freddy. All right. Well, with the beginning, I think this is at the max volume. Ready and go. Good morning. We are learning more about Edward Snowden in our top story this morning. He's the government contractor and former CIA employee who leaked the existence of two high profile NSA programs that target Americans' cell phones and some of the most widely used internet providers and social media networks in the world. He revealed his identity through The Guardian, the UK newspaper that originally ran his story. He's 29 years old and reportedly packed up his Hawaii apartment and moved suddenly to Hong Kong in May, claiming a need for med- All right, so she's gonna she introduce who this guy is. She's gonna keep going. You can watch it on your own. I don't wanna waste your time here. And I'm gonna go to minute 8.20 when me, uh, he, uh, Glenn finishes his uh, sentence and then she's gonna start saying things and then says, yeah, okay, let me put it in a context for you, Mika. Ready? About here. What the Patriot Act did was it lowered that standard. So it said now all you need is a reasonable basis to believe that the person is involved in wrongdoing before you can get their records. And that was incredibly controversial. It was considered a radical departure from the way that the United States is supposed to work. But even the, back then, nobody thought, and just go read the debates about the Patriot Act in late 2001, early 2002, nobody had any inkling that the government would ever use the Actually, Patriot Actually, it's 920, my bad. Specific individual. We have to... 
of this Nine is right conversation yeah. and every single form of human behavior okay. anywhere okay. in the world. Safe. And if that is something that we want our government to be doing, we should have an open debate about that, this not have it done in secret. An incredibly important question that affects all of us. We have to put it in your pers perspective. perspective. I want to bring Richard Haas in, but quickly, I just want an answer yes or no. Isn't it the case that reviewing of emails or any wiretapping cannot take place without an additional warrant from a judge? Uh, and and a review. I mean, it's not like there's haphazard um, probing into all of our personal emails. Can we put this into context, context so we understand exactly what's going on? Yeah, I'll put it into context for you. The White House talking points that you're using are completely misleading and false. The whole point of what the Bush administration did when it disregarded and violated the our personal emails. Can we put this into context so we understand exactly what's yeah. going on? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put it into context for you. The White House talking points that you're using are completely misleading and false. The whole point of what the Bush administration did when it disregarded and violated the FISA law, and then when the Congress on a bipartisan basis enacted a new surveillance law in 2008, was to enable the NSA to read emails between people in the United States and people outside of the United States without having first to go to a FISA court and get a warrant. The only time individual warrants are needed is when two people are both inside the United States and are both American. American citizens. But under that law, the U.S. government and the NSA have the power and exercise the power to listen in on telephone conversations and read emails mm -hmm. involving all kinds of American citizens. And the Senate has been repeatedly asking for the numbers of how many Americans they're doing that to. And the NSA keeps saying, and it's false, they can't provide those numbers. So those talking points that you're reading from are completely false. Uh, as no, anybody who's paid even hey, remote Glenn, attention to the surveillance debate know points. over the last 10 years. Glenn, I'd like to ask a question. Is this legal or illegal? Or Richard Blah, 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 tra -la -la. she changes the word somewhere else. So basically, he mopped the floor with this hack, with this agent. Um, these guys are not uh, media people, or if they are, they are really not doing their job, which is uh, asking the people with power, which is the government, and keeping their feet to the fire. No, they, they dismiss uh, Glenn and dismiss, uh, and they cover for those guys. Um, I have many more of these uh, videos, I may be about 200 because I watched a lot of these people and I was like what is going on well little by little you figure out what's going on when you hear excerpts of this or you hear the whole conversation I have so many videos that I can and I will make about Glenn Greenwald uh, you know destroying weasels from the Great Britain BBC and uh, others from the United States of America that's why he's not working for the Guardian that's why he's not working he works for himself now for for some time he moved out he lived in um, and I think he still lives in um, uh, Rio de Janeiro Brazil with his uh, partner I don't know if they're married whatever it is and uh, adopted children so nevertheless he mo he lives over there he can live with these guys and he's got he used to have I think the intercept I, I can remember I don't want to give you, uh, I don't think it was, he, he had it and then he went out because the guys tried to uh, censor him and he was one of the founding of the, uh, it was a, I think an, an internet uh, media and then he said bye bye and he started his own thing again. But Glenn Greenwald, intelligent and courageous and he doesn't have any problem to saying, uh, hey, <laughs> your talking points is false what you're saying over there. Let me put in the context for you. That's why he's not invited. There were many like him. They were not invited all of a sudden. Uh, for instance, if you remember Colonel uh, Douglas McGregor, he's not invited not even at Fox anymore. Why? Because he says things that he's not supposed to say. And I have many other, other guys that are not invited. Again, done. I remember this is another example with another guy with a scholar that I very much admired. He uh, died. He didn't pa pass away. He died uh, about uh, two or three years ago. His name was Stephen Cohen. Uh, he was an uh, emeritus professor of Russian studies. And he was about 74, 75, something like this. He died, as I said, a few years, two years, three years ago. And he was very, very knowledgeable, very calm, uh, very, very, very... I liked him. I admired his intelligence, his logic, his calm. And uh, he was invited a few times. And when he was telling what he was not supposed to say, which is... His assessment of, hey, stop this, if we're going to end up with what's going on in Ukraine, he was not invited. And he said it many times uh, in his, uh, um, I think he has a little podcast at one point at the end, or he was invited by 
people like me uh, and ask questions and said well that's why this guy is the big the big uh, media outlets they don't invite me anymore because uh, I'm saying things that uh, do not go uh, with the narrative and I will make uh, some videos with him as well when he's talking with a weasel 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 guy um, and uh, the guy just wants to aggravate him and is like you want to talk here or you just want to aggravate me or something I mean I'm giving you facts and you're interrupting me and you say basically but he didn't say that because he was very very uh very very nice uh guy uh you just an, an idiot so anyway this is mika um and i promised i will make this video in the video that i just uh, showed you at least you know the one with uh pride uh, pride uh, parade in warsaw and the u.s ambassador uh sending a message to poland all right well the polish people uh poor people are just confused and they don't know what to do they need the u.s ambassador to come and tell them or brussels they take them by the hand and tell them what to do because poland uh, just uh, got into being three days ago and they don't know what's going on they don't have their own culture they don't have traditions religion well religion is not theirs but it's borrowed from anyway but that's a different story but uh, these guys in brussels and united states come and tell them how to uh how to be i thought that culture is just something that you have you know like uh, multi multiculturalism but it seems like uh, it depends on uh... anyway here is my friends thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just